All right, here we are back again. This week's Thing of Week challenge is to do something musical. And I am back with my uh, Atari 800 and uh, Atari logo programming language. Now I will say up front that 95% uh, of the code you're gonna see here uh, today is not my code. It comes from a book called Logo Works, written by Cynthia Solomon, Margaret Minsky, and Brian Harvey. There will be a part at the very end that's definitely going to be all me and hopefully will go better than it went on the first two takes of this video. So uh, Atari Logo has one built-in uh, sound command called toot and it takes four parameters. The first parameter is the voice. Atari computers have four different voice channels which can play simultaneously. The uh, second parameter is the frequency. Uh, the third parameter is the volume, and the fourth is duration, how long to hold the note. Uh, one thing I learned about music this week, musical notes are just frequencies. So 440 is uh, a fourth octave of the note A on the keyboard or on a guitar. So um, that is a fourth octave A. And every octave is just some multiple of uh, that frequency. If you have the frequency, you drop the note a whole octave lower. And if you double the frequency, you raise the note an octave higher. So that was uh, a fourth octave, a third octave, and a fifth octave. Yes, that was really rough, a really rough version of Twinkle Twinkle. But a little bit later, I will show you how we can make that better. So this is how it works. Uh, basically, it's going to play a tune, and then I've broken up the um, the parts of the tune into... Uh, some bars of music so twinkle one you play it first you repeat the middle part twice and then you play the uh, last part again to end the song and these are just a bunch of numbers that I'm going to show relate to frequencies within an octave and this R here is just a, a rest period it uh, will actually play a note but it plays it at a frequency outside of human hearing so there's about 10 octaves, of which eight I think we can hear in the human ear. Um, all the notes in, in, uh, that are played here are based off of that A, uh, frequency of A in the third octave, and then uh, these numbers here will vary that frequency depending on what it is. If uh, if it's higher than 12, it'll kick it up into the next octave by multiplying the frequency uh, uh, by 2. And if it's below 0, it's in the lower octave, so it'll multiply it by the frequency times 1 half. Otherwise... If it's within that frequency, there's 12 notes uh, in an octave. The uh, seven whole notes, uh, C, uh, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. And there are the uh, five sharp notes. So if you look at a piano keyboard, there's uh, seven white keys for every five uh, black keys, which are the uh, sharps and flats, which are a uh, the 12th. 12th root of uh, 2 <laughs> that you multiplied by. So this is why that uh, song is so rough, is because it's calculating every one of these notes by hand. So here's how we're going to 
uh, improve that. This is another version. It's going to take advantage of something I've uh, that Atari logo can do uh, that I've demonstrated in both the sentence generating program and the program that builds a database of people that it learns about. And that is Atari logo is an extensible language that uh, uh, you can add procedures, you can add uh, constants and variables, and the system sees them as uh, being primitive. And it also lets uh, you can programmatically uh, define procedures and programmatically define uh, variables and constants. So uh, in this workspace here in the beginning, there's a really only four uh, constants, which are some tunes that I've uh, created. And you can see uh, now, instead of using some meaningless numbers, these songs are actually have uh, values that make sense. So this is second octave C, second octave D, this is third octave A, this is uh, fourth octave C sharp, uh, but these notes don't exist. So rather than have the program try to pro programmatically define all those, we're going to create all those uh, constants here now. So it created, I think it's seven octaves of uh, notes. So here you can see there's our good old fourth octave A with a frequency of 440. A third octave G has a frequency of 392. Um, uh, up here is the rest. So that's 15,000, a frequency that you can hear. Here's F4 is 698 and uh, so forth. So these are all defined ahead of time. So now... You can, you'll hear a vast improvement. So now it could play things uh, a lot faster and a lot better. Uh, since it's Atari logo, uh, I also need to show you this. Of course, the, the logo turtle slows it down again. Uh, Now you can see when I change frequencies, the turtle is actually trying to draw the frequencies of the sounds. So if I move this uh, scale, same C scale, up an octave, uh, you can see that the frequencies are higher now. All right. So the last thing I am going to do is uh, use further extensibility. So now I have the notes. I'm going to reprogram the uh, keys on the keyboard to turn the computer into a uh, piano. So if you can see here, these keys along the bottom row here are now musical notes. And uh, the middle keys here are the sharp keys. All right, and now here's my surprise. This part's all me. I'm going to see if I can do this now. Uh, let's see if this will work.
<laughs> there we go. That is me playing uh, Doa Deer on my Atari computer uh, keyboard. Hope you enjoyed that little bit today. Uh, that's my uh, contribution to Thing a Week music. <laughs>